as we approach the 54th anniversary of Woodstock next week, we're taking a look at a museum dedicated to the iconic music festival that defined a generation. It's located next to the original field in Bethel, New York, where the top bands of the time entertained some 400,000 people over four days. Entertainment reporter Sandy Canyon joins us now with more. Sandy. Dave, through the years, I've talked to people who were at Woodstock and a few who merely pretended to have been there. But few have stories as compelling as Rona Elliott. She's a former network TV reporter who interviewed the biggest legends in the music business. But in 1969, she was a young witness to history. The event that defined a generation still resonates more than half a century later, thanks to an Oscar-winning documentary and the memories of those who were there. Those three days were magic. Rona Elliott was one of the first enlisted to help stage the festival. I'm doing local PR, so I spoke to the Kiwanis Club about what a good thing this was going to be for their community. The 23-year-old booster is now on the board of the Museum of Bethel Woods, located on the site of the 1969 event. There are very few people that experienced the development of Woodstock as it happened over the course of every day of about four months. She is a keeper of the flame who never tires of returning to the field where it all happened. I mean, we were all so good intentioned and so good hearted and such believers in the power of the music to heal. A song invented on the spot for hundreds of thousands of people. What did that sound like? What did that feel like? Uh, that was a big hum from the mothership, let me tell you. <laughs> Richie Havens died in 2013. Festival organizer Michael Lang passed away last year. Bobby Erkeline lost her life in March. She hugged a guy on the cover of the Woodstock album and stayed married to him for more than 50 years all of which makes the stories of those who survive even more important. Because young people, particularly young people now, are not infused with the kind of hope and belief that we were. They don't have that sense that anything is possible. This was about possibility, and we managed to do it against all odds. I've been to the museum in the field at Bethel Woods several times, and each of those visits for the 40th, 45th, and 50th anniversaries was very meaningful for me. I've often pondered exactly why. Perhaps it's because Woodstock is proof, as Rona Elliott says, that people can extend their heart and love the people next to them.